Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these ladder stitch hoops. What you'll need are some hoop earrings, of course. Bigger ones will require more beads and more thread. Smaller ones will be faster. You'll also need a needle and thread. I'm using a size 10 beading needle and I'm using a size F Nymo thread. You can also use Fireline. I would recommend this as well. Just a nice sturdy thread is going to be the easiest to work with. Thread your needle. Depending on how big your hoops are, for mine, I'm going to grab like six feet. And then you're going to take one end and tie it around the end of your hoop. Make sure to do a double knot so it is nicely secured. And then we're going to get started by grabbing some beads. I want to do my first two columns. So I'm going to grab two gold beads and one mint bead to get my pattern started. Like so, push them down to the end and then you're going to take your needle Put it around the hoop like so, pull the thread, and then we are going to go up through the second two beads like that and pull nice and tight. And you'll see now we have two columns, one with one bead and one with two beads. So our next column will be three beads. This is how I'm doing the pattern, the gold, the blue, and then the mint. And then again, go through the hoop, pull your thread, and then go up through all the beads. As you can see, now we're gonna go one column at a time. If you're liking the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Three quarters of you haven't subscribed, so please do. Now just keep repeating this process, and I'm going up to five beads and then working my way back down to one bead like so. And then we can just keep doing this all the way around the entire hoop to create the triangle effect with our ladder stitch. And it's really that easy. It's so simple. It is a super fast way to do some earrings and the results are beautiful. To finish off, you'll need to tie a knot. So you can see here, I'm at the end of where I'm gonna stop. And then I'm gonna just go back through the column before the last one, pull my thread through, and then I'm going to anchor it to the existing stitches to tie a knot. So make sure you're holding everything nice and tight. You don't want these to end up too loose. Honestly, I kind of struggled with doing this knot, so do whatever works best for you. This is just how I went about doing it. So I put my needle underneath the thread, pull tight, and then I'm going to go one more time and then put my needle through the loop to create a knot and pull nice and tight. And then I just like to stick my needle up the beads so I can kind of pull it and push that bead down so it sits on the knot and makes it less visible. And then all you have to do is trim off the excess and burn the end of the thread. So I like to leave a little bit and then burn it down nice and close, just like that. Then just do it to the beginning where we tied off as well, and you'll be all done your new earrings. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful day.